Hi, I'm John the Engineer, Great Canadian Gambler, Tosh Professor of Poker Systems Engineering Termel, and this is my Poker Power Tool number three, Board Threat Odds System. Board Danger Outs for One Opponent. Now you'll recognize on the right hand side in green, that is the outs odds array that you learned in your Termel two-step call odds system. With four outs drawn to a gut straight, you need 10 to 1. With six outs drawn to two over cards, you need seven to one. With eight outs, of course, we know the in-between numbers from the other tool. With five outs, you need eight. Six outs, seven. Seven outs, six. Eight outs, five. Nine outs, four. Ten outs, four. Twelve outs, three. Fourteen, fifteen, sixteen outs. Eighteen outs, you need two to one. If you have, with four outs to an inside straight draw, the chance to make that one twelfth at a time, approximately, 10 and a half to one, not really 10 to one. So I like to think in terms of one twelfth at a time. What happens when you're sitting there with a pair of aces, you have one opponent and the flop comes up 10, 10 deuce. How often is he gonna have that pair, that trip tens to beat your two aces? Well, that's easily done. He can have two tens in his first card and he can have two tens in his second card. And that happens to be four outs of danger which happens to have the same probability of being there as you drawn to an inside straight. So you can use the same poker power tool number one, the outs odds array, not only for determining the odds you need for the number of outs you have to chase, but also to determine the threat that the board presents to you in a very simple way. So, let's take a look at the first, second row, and that's when there's a pair on the board, and what are the odds of some, your opponent having trips? Well, if the pair hits on the flop, it's two cards times two cards, four outs of danger, ten to one, one twelfth at a time approximately. On the turn, it's the same four outs of danger, and on the river, it's the same four outs of danger. So, you use the same array, you know that now. So when you have your pair of aces and he's only going to have you beat one twelfth at a time, you may as well put in money and go all the way through, right? Next, let's say there's no pair on the board. Well, what are the chances of his having a set? Well, it's only one out of danger. Because having a set is very rare. He has to have one of the nine cards that match the board and then two of the remaining cards to make his set. And because most hands, half of them are folded before the flop, we have doubled the probability of people being in there with pairs so that we have an even doubler chance that they're in there with it. So what happens? It's from 120 to 1 a priori, but we're doubling it to 60 to 1. So that's about one out. Pretty good. On the turn, it goes down to 43 to 1. It's still one out. And on the river, it goes up to two outs of danger now, 22 to 1 against. Now, let's say there's no pair on the board, and you wonder, what are the odds of the guy having two pair? Well, he can, on the flop, he can have any one of the nine cards, like the guy who made his set, but then instead of one of the remaining two cards, he has to have one of the remaining six cards to make his second pair. And that happens to come all about one out of danger because you don't double for two pairs because they're not doubly likely. Now, if you have all the cards in the uh, Royal Flush zone, the, the high card zone, then you can double it and say it's two chances out of or, or, or two outs of danger. But even then, the odds of having trips and two pair on a flop together are only two outs of danger and on the turn three outs of danger and on the river max six outs of danger seven to one against let's look at the four flush now on the flop can't have a four flush but on the turn you can't have a four flush and he's got nine cards in the one and nine cards in the other to have one of the flush cards 18 outs of danger out of about 45, 46, that's two-fifths at a time, three to two against. Same thing on the river. It's same 18 outs of danger, three to two against. You're still a favorite with your aces. Let's say the four straight, two-way. Now, you can't have that on the flop, but on the turn, you can have four kings. Let's say king, queen, jack, ten. You can have four nines and four aces, eight times two cards, 16 outs of danger. So about one third of the deck. Let's go down to the four straight with a hole in it, an inside straight draw. Well, it can't happen on the flop, but on the turn, you can have 
if the card is a queen, four queens in that card and four queens in the second card for eight outs of danger, five to one against. So all those people who stop betting because the straight card came up, even if it is in the high card zone and you want to double it to two sixths of the time, it's still positive your way. When a three flush it hits on the river and it hits your one opponent, it's estimated at four outs of danger. You have possible 10 cards times 9 cards, that's 90, over 1980, 45 times 44 remaining cards, a really easy number because it's close to 2,000, and that's 4.5%, but flush hands double it to 9%, so that's a full 4 outs of danger. But now, how many people do you see freeze up when that flush card comes on the end, and I know it's one twelfth at a time that he's got it. And that's doubling the probability because more likely he's got a flush hand than not. So when I know I'm one, tw one twelfth the odds of being beat, I'm going to be putting in money. You will never see me not bet just because the three flush came on the end. Now with two opponents, you got two twelfths danger. One sixth at a time they got you. Five to one against. And with three opponents, oh God, you got, hey, three twelfths. So more than three quarters of the time, you're still good. With four opponents, wow, only four twelfths, one third of the time, less than that, they got you. Two thirds of the time, you're still good. So that's how you can work it out. Once you got your first fraction, then for each opponent, you go two, three, four, five, and that gives you a good idea. Now go to the turn. If the four flush hits on, if the three flush hits on the turn, well now that's seven outs of danger because you can also hit a fourth card on the river to really screw you, where, you know, high probability someone's got it. So, it's seven outs of danger on the turn. And when you flop the three flush, even though the chance is only four outs of danger that he's got it right now, there's six more outs of danger that it's going to be a fourth flush come up that's going to beat you. So, so ten outs of danger, three to one against, seven outs of danger, six to one against, and four outs of danger, eleven to one against, three straight in a row. Well, back on the turn. I have that as three outs of danger. <clears throat> That's because you have the same close probabilities as the flush, except that you don't double the probability unless you're in the high card zone. And that comes up to three outs of danger on the turn, a river, and six outs of danger on the turn, because you can add that pesky close card for four floods, four straights on the next card, and nine full outs of danger on the flop. When you have a three straight, let's say the uh, queen jack ten, you can have ace-king, you can have king-nine, and you can have nine-eight. Three ways to make your straight. The maximum danger. And it comes to 96 chances out of 20, uh, out of 1980. So, with only two chances, it's two-thirds of that. It's uh, 64 chances out of the same uh, 1980. And down at the three straight with only one way to make it, ace, king, ten. What are the chances of his having a queen jack? Well, there's eight times four, 32, over 1980. Boom, there's the answer. It's only one, three outs of danger at the flop. Two outs of danger at the turn, and only one out of danger at the river. Now, the two flush, well, if the two flush comes on the flop, I put it two outs of danger, one out on the turn, and almost, and no danger on the river, of course. And same with the two straight. Two outs on the uh, flop, one on the turn, and nothing on the river. And a two straight with a hole in it, one out on the flop. When an overcard comes, let's say you got a pair of jacks and a flop, comes queen, deuce, four. How many, how many times can you be beat? Well, he's got three queens in that card, three queens in that card. That's six outs of danger. Look over to the chart on the right and you say, oh, that's seven to one against. Only one eighth at a time has he got me. And you have two over cards, that's 12 outs of danger. Now, here's the point. We know from our tool, the earlier one, the stay hands, that most half the hands are folded and the other half are not. Well, if I'm going to rate a queen as six outs of danger, because more king hands are playable than queens, I'm going to have to rate that as 50% more dangerous. So that's nine outs of danger. Since aces are playable more than twice as often as queens, ace high hands and queens, well then I would even double it to 12 outs of danger when an ace hits. So that basically is how you would use poker power tool number three 
to estimate the danger of various boards that you're looking at at different stages. And once you add up the number of danger outs, you use Poker Power Tool to tell you what the odds of that being out there. Many people, if they realized that every time they freeze up when that three flush comes and they check out on the river and they didn't make that bet they should have won 11 times out of 12 because they were scared of being check raised one time out of 12 but most people won't check their flush anyway so it's probably even rarer that you're being check raised so it is one of the most grievous errors in all of hold'em not to make that value bet on the end when a four out danger arises sometimes they'll do it with the same thing now with four flushes i mean when i'm alone with an opponent and the four flush comes i know i'm a favorite and i'm putting it in two-thirds of the time i'm winning that is the poker power danger outs for one opponent and the next tool will explain how to do it for two to eight opponents